from Art Savannah on Instagram. I'm gonna make a Halloween video tutorial for a werewolf costume this Halloween. I know it's only September and I maybe I'm ahead of myself, but I wanna make sure I give you guys at least a couple ideas for Halloween before the things really start rolling and Halloween parties start happening. So, to get started, I'm gonna be working on doing a Halloween werewolf tutorial. And it's pretty simple. I'm gonna be using uh, store-bought, just grocery store brand uh, makeup as well as a few other things um, that you might not have. I use, uh, it's called Wolf Face Art Effects. It's a face paint. And you can get this. I bought this one at sillyfarm.com. I'm not endorsed by them, so you don't have to use them. Uh, I'm, I have never used the stuff that you can buy like at Walmart during the Halloween season, so I mean, give that a try uh, if you don't wanna purchase this. It is a little bit more expensive, but I find it's great quality. So, to get started, I have applied just a base coat of co concealer. Uh, I didn't put the powder on just yet, because powder's kind of a finishing thing. I work with first eyeshadows, and I just have basic, this is L'Oreal's eyeshadow. It's 830 Deep Mocha. It's broken. Anyway, and I'm gonna just start using that, and I'm gonna just kind of start to uh, give myself some contouring, some werewolf-like contours. So, we're gonna get started. To start, you wanna contour the sides of your nose, almost down to your nostrils, just creating a long, long snout. You're also gonna to wanna to bring it from the insides of your eyes, kind of over your eyelid. I also made some defined cheekbones just to give myself a little bit of a harsh look. And make sure that you're thickening up your eyebrows if you have thin eyebrows like me. And maybe even if you have thick eyebrows, it might be a good idea to um, color them in. And I added some contours to the corners of my mouth, as well as from the underside of my eye up to my hairline. And all the while, I'm just blending and blending and blending this brown. Then underneath the tip of your nose. Now that I've used the brown, we're gonna move ahead and use some black as well. So this is another L'Oreal. I guess I use L'Oreal a lot. Uh, a L'Oreal palette that is missing one. And just use some of the black in there. And just darken up. I'm just going over the places I've already gone to make certain areas darker than others. So the insides of the eyes, outside the crease of my eyelid. You could also do the contours of your cheeks if you wanted. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to using some of the face paint. And for starters, I'm gonna use just brown. No need to jump into using a darker color if that's not necessary. Using a different brush, sorry. And to start, I'm gonna just thicken up my eyebrows. Here I was using a thinner brush and I was making the individual strands to kind of thicken up the eyebrow just to give it a little bit of a rough, thick look. But also it makes it look a little bit more natural when you don't have just a solid block of eyebrow. So make sure that you're making actual brush strokes to look like eyebrows. I lined my eyes a little bit. You can use eyeliner if you want for that. For my nose, I made an, a half circle and then angular lines down to my nostril and it made it look much more animal-like, almost feline. I also lined my top lip extending out my lip to kind of make it a little bit longer, but this is a step you can skip if you're a man or if you don't like that. Now this next part you can use um, either your black face paint or uh, any kind of liquid eyeliner. This is a Maybelline waterproof eyeliner. So I'm going to use the eyeliner, it's just easier to get off when you're working next to your eye. I kept my line pretty thin on my eye, but you can thicken this up. It's really just to help define it. I didn't, I also did not extend it to create a cat eye look. I wanted to keep it simply on the eyelid. I also forgot to add in this line from my nose, connecting my nose to my top lip when I was using the brown paint before. And I decided to add some brown to the bottom of my lip and some pink to kind of lighten it. Back to the black eyeliner. I lined the bottom of my eyes. And 
And you also need some blush. I was realizing I looked very pale. Don't forget to add blush. It is an important thing. Here I am applying glue to the eyelashes. Let it sit for a moment. Get the glue all tacky and apply to your eye. Now this was hard for me to do and shoot with the camera, so I'm sorry that I'm not showing you the perfect way to apply this eyelash, but I can upload a tutorial where I show you how to put on fake lashes. If you need it, just comment below. Now the fake eyelashes is not a necessary part, especially if you're a man, but as I wanted to be kind of a glam werewolf, I found that I wanted it. I also had a zit, so I covered it up. And that's it. That's how you become a werewolf. Pretty simple. All the supplies I used were things that you can either buy at a grocery store or face paint that I bought at sillyfarm.com. You can buy it anywhere. You can use any tools you want. Anything is substitutable. Go ahead and try this. It's pretty simple. This is my kind of glam werewolf. I used. Uh, I made a beauty mark to cover up a pimple. You can do the same or you can go a little bit tougher, a little bit meaner. You know, if you take away the eyelashes and the, the beauty mark and add in some actual like werewolf teeth, you're gonna look pretty ferocious. Now, as far as the costume goes, it's fairly simple. I bought this flannel shirt at a Goodwill. Um, and I found also a children's a caveman costume, so I had this fur as well, but you can buy the fur like this from uh, a fabric store. Anyway, it was a very simple thing to do. All I did, and I am not a seamstress by any means, I think I made a pair of pajama pants in junior high, but I, I got the flannel shirt and I, um, I cut a, a hole where I wanted a patch to be. Then I sewed underneath, here let me show you. I sewed underneath the patches and then once I was done, I frayed the leftover shirt. I just cut a small hole in the center so I would have a cutting starting point. Um, and I did that across the whole the whole shirt. There's little fray marks on the back as well on all the sleeves just where the, the hair is poking out. And then I added on to the top of the flannel shirt a hood um, with ears and I'm sure those seamstresses and uh, sewers out there are thinking that I did a terrible job, but hey, it worked. I even gave it ears, just a little bit of stuffing and some creative stitching. And I did use a sewing machine. Uh, I'm sure you could do it by hand, but it would just take a really long time. So anyway, this is my werewolf costume. You could also, if you had the time, I didn't have the time when I made this, but I wanted to um, add on little uh, furry parts that you could put over the tops of your hands. And then you could even paint your fingernails kind of uh, gross and make him look like a real good werewolf, but There you have it. That is your werewolf uh, tutorial. Happy Halloween if you happen to Dress up for Halloween and you use this tutorial I'd love to see it hashtag art Savannah on your piece on Instagram and I'd be happy to share it on my page Thanks again so much. Bye Be sure to comment below what you think I should do next for a tutorial Also, if you like what you see be sure to subscribe if you want to follow me and my art adventures, be sure to follow Art Savannah on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.